SEO Links app is one of the most popular apps that Realty Candy has developed. And this is an app that uses the backlinks SEO strategy. This strategy basically says that interlinking websites is a good SEO strategy. So a backlink is when one website links to another with text. And an example of this is when you're reading an article and you find a little highlighted um, text that looks like a link and you click on it and it takes you somewhere else. In summary, this is what a backlink is. And this is what the backlink strategy is. The more you interlink websites, the better um, they're going to rank for SEO. And this is what the SEO links app does. Um, and this is how it would look on details pages. So it's basically characteristics of properties that you can click on. And I'm going to be showing you an example of this and how you can set it up using our new IDX add-ons platform, which you can see here. The way you set up apps has been updated. Um, and if you want to learn more about the app, you would click on the About tab. It will show you the video. And if you want step-by-step -step instructions of how to set up the app, click on Tutorial. To turn the app on, all you have to do is toggle this switch on. If you want to deactivate this feature, just toggle it off. You can do so at any time. Um, the next option you see here is to open links in a new tab. This is so that when you click on a link, it opens up the properties in a new tab so that people are not leaving the original details or results page. So if you want um, the app to do this, just toggle it on. Um, include subdivisions in results URL refers to the type of properties that it's going to show um, when you click on a characteristic. So if we click on residential detached and we have this option on, it will only show you properties that are residential detached, but in the subdivision of where you found um, this characteristic. This is going to be much more clear when I show you the example. If you have this off, it will only be taking into consideration the city and the county. If you have this off, it will show more specific results because it takes the subdivision into consideration. Once you're ready, click on save settings. And then um, the app gives you two links. For details pages, this app is already integrated into any of our IDX details template, so you don't need to add it um, if you're using one of our templates. So they have to be a real Tikani one. If you want to add it to another template, click on here and it will take you to IDX broker to the subheader section of the details um, page. You will copy this code, go over here to pages and in details, turn Wizzy Week off and you would add in the coding here. In this case, we're not going to be adding it because as I mentioned, um, the template already has it. If you wanna add it to results pages, go here to categories and results. I'm not going to paste it yet, just so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to be going to this client's site. I'm going to be testing out the app on this website, aurorapropertygroup.com. They sell properties in Southampton and East Hampton in New York. And here is their advanced search and I'm going to be making a search. Right now, remember, we don't have the SEO app um, on for results pages, and this is how it would look. And let me add it in here where I was mentioning before. Save changes, and let's refresh the page. And as we can see, we can now click on these. So if we click on four beds, we would see properties that have four beds similar to this property. So they would be in East Hampton. And these are the results we get. And if we click on four beds, we will see properties similar to this one that have four beds. And here are some of them. So these means that people can look at a property and if they don't like the specific one, they can look at similar properties so that they can find the one they like the most. Now I'm going to be clicking on one of these so that you can see how the SEO links app would look inside a details page. And here it is. If we scroll over to the characteristics, these are all links. So you can click on any of these. Um, we can try East Hampton High School so we can see properties nearby that high school or this location. And here we see some examples of these homes. Let's try another example. So homes that have modern um, for their architectural style. 
And here are some of them. Of course, they have to have the characteristic registered on the MLS. So they could obviously be modern and not be showing up here if they don't have the characteristic. Um, but it's just an example. This is really useful for people um, to find the exact property they want and find properties faster. Because if they see something they like or a characteristic they, that they like, they can immediately click on that and find properties that have that. They don't have to make a specific search and go back. And what happens here is they get kind of stuck on your website in a good way. Um, so as you can see, if I continue clicking on stuff and click on this property, and then scroll over and click on 2023. And then scroll down and click on eight rooms. I end up in a results page and I end up in another results page and I have no idea how I got here, but I'm looking at properties that I like. Um, so people are spending more time on your website pages. This is called the SEO links app. As you can see, it's very, very easy to set up. All you have to do to get free access is to be a Realty County client. Just go to realtycounty.com slash free and click on any of these mail providers. You have to have an IDX broker account. And when you click on any of these, you will be emailing IDX brokers so that they make you a Realty County client. Everything stays the same, but you get our widgets, our apps, our templates. You get the SEO links app and you get Realty County for support.